In the previous lesson, we learned about custom properties. In this lesson, we will learn about three additional types of text information that we can add into SOLIDWORKS parts to make use of later on in the design cycle. These three types of text properties are called tags, comments, and the design binder. Let's start by opening an existing part. You can open anything that has a couple of features in it. In this part, there are a couple of special features, mainly this keyway, and I want to identify this keyway in a special way so that it can be searched and accessed later on. So I'll select a face of the keyway, and then the actual feature itself, and come down to the tag icon in the lower right hand corner. This is only active when you have something selected in the Feature Manager or the Graphics window. So I'll click in the box and type in a special tag for this, such as broached keyway. We need a special manufacturing process to create this keyway, so we just call it out right on the part. Maybe the holes also have a special tool that is used for these. And so we'll call this out with number 10 counterbore. Tags are just like keywords that you might find on a website, just to help make things a little extra searchable so that you can find more detail about your parts. So tags are one special type of text information that you can use to make the data in your part more accessible. Let's talk about another, and that's comments. On any type of feature that you create, you can right-click and add a comment. As a part of this comment, you could mention feature is driven by equations. Maybe put a timestamp on there and save that comment. Comments show up in a folder at the top, and the feature that they are attached to is listed in the comments folder. The final type of text information that you can add is the design binder. And the design binder may not automatically show up in your feature manager. So let me show you how to get the design binder to show up. Go to Tools Options or use the Options drop down in the Title Bar toolbar. And go to Feature Manager on the System Options tab. The design binder is the second one on the left hand column. And set this to show if you want to use it. Automatic means that it will only show up if you have something in it, and hide means it will always be hidden. The problem with automatic is that you can't put anything in it unless you can see it, so you have to use show just to get it to show up so you can add things into it. When you do that, the design binder folder is added to the feature manager, and inside the design binder is an empty design journal doc. This is a Word document. You can double click on this. Now you have to have Microsoft Word to work with this. SolidWorks will automatically fill in the file name for you. And if you have a material assigned and a description, this is the first use that we will see of custom property information. We get out of here, go to File, Properties, add some sort of a description. Say OK. Go back to the design journal by double clicking, and it's automatically added the description to the design journal. So this is just making the case for remembering to enter custom property data. It is text data that is reused again downstream. Now, from here, you can add text about any sort of calculations. You can add screenshots about the part. You can put renderings. FEA results, things of that nature, in this Word document. The rest of the binder can hold additional information. So if you have other files that you would like to use, you can put them in the design binder. I have a rendering that I would like to add to the design binder, and to do that, I'm just going to right-click on the design binder and say Add Attachment. 
This allows me to browse for the file, select it, open, and I can either link to the file or uncheck the link and the file will be stored as a part of your SolidWorks file. Be careful about file size when you do this. It may be safer to link this. And so the rendering file shows up as an image within the design binder. Now you can add any type of file that you would like to the design binder. Zip files, AVI files, and so on.